Hello from Fine Arts. Today we are going to create this abstract painting inspired by Piet Mondrian. And we are also going to use only primary colors when we are painting. And primary colors cannot be mixed from other colors. Primary colors are mixed together to make all the colors on the color wheel. So our primary colors today are red, yellow, and blue. And those are the three colors we're going to use in our painting. You also get to choose what size you would like. So this is a 12 by 18. There are other sizes as well. You can decide if you want your shape to be a rectangle or maybe if you want to do a square, okay? First thing you're gonna do is decide on your paper size and you're gonna get your white paper. We're gonna start by gluing. So you're gonna twist your glue, take off the circle top, and then the top of it, you have to flip it open. Remember there might be glue on that lid. And the first thing we're gonna do is glue our frame with our glue brush. So you're gonna dip it in the glue, and remember you just go close to the edge, and you go across, doing a small layer of glue. Then you're gonna go down, we don't need a lot of glue for this project. Then we go across. So we're just making a rectangle with our glue. And then we're gonna go up. Okay. Put your glue brush back in your jar. You take your white paper, you're gonna flip it over. And you're gonna try to center it on your black paper so you have a nice frame. You take your hands and you're going to push those air bubbles out. You're going to push, push, push. Okay. Then you're going to take your frame and you're going to flip it over. And you have an artist information sheet all about Piet Mondrian. So you're going to flip that over and you're just going to put a dot in the corner. Dot, dot, not a lot. When we have something that's small, like the size of our hand, we only need to put a dot in each corner. So we're going to put our information about Piet Mondrian on the back, and then we're going to get ready to learn about Piet Mondrian. So you have a drawing guide um, that has a picture of him, and he was born in the Netherlands, and his artwork is geometric and it's abstract. And then on the back of your drawing guide, you have some of the art steps that we're gonna do. The first thing that we did was pick a square or rectangle. We put our frame together. The second step, we're gonna glue black strips on white paper. And I want you to use at least 10 strips. Um, you can also see that Mondrian inspired a lot of things um, in the fashion world in 1965. And also in 2008, Nike brand shoes. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we have strips of paper and you're gonna just put some glue on your strip and you just need a small layer to paint on. And then you're just gonna decide however you wanna do it. You are the artist. I'm just gonna put that one right there, Let's see? I'm going to take my fingers, I'm going to push it down, and if I go to the edge, I'm going to grab my scissors, cut that off, and so look, I missed it on the edge, I'm not going to worry about it, that's all right. Um, then I'm going to take, maybe we'll take another piece and we will go across. So you can kind of use your black strip of paper with your scissors to kind of measure um, how much you want it, and you can cut that little piece off. There is no wrong way to do this project. Just have fun creating amazing art. And this art is geometric, so we're doing horizontal lines and vertical lines. This line is vertical. Vertical means it goes up and down. And then you also have some black squares and rectangles. And you can grab one of those. Maybe I'll put one right over here. So you're gonna grab it 
And again, you don't need a lot of glue. So the first step to this project is laying down all of the black strips before we paint. Okay, and I'm just going to take a strip, cut it wherever I want, put some glue on there. Maybe I go like that. Here's another one. Maybe this one goes like this. I didn't even plan it. I just put it down like that. That looks good. And then maybe we want another one of these. So I want you to use a minimum of 10 strips. Minimum means at least. And if you would like to go for the challenge, then use 20 or just use as many as you would like. So you're just going to continue putting your black strips on your white paper, practicing gluing, practicing getting your line straight. Put it like this until you get something that looks geometric. Okay? So I'm going to let you finish doing that, and I'm going to show you my, I have one that's finished, so now I can kind of show you what to do um, when we paint. So to turn in your glue, remember you're going to take your glue, you're going to wipe it on your jar on the side. You're going to take the lid and place the lid back on, twist it, and you're going to turn your, your mason jar in of your glue. You're going to put your glue brush in the hot tub so it can soak. Okay. And then remember, we are doing primary colors only. And notice I did leave some of these white, so we don't have to paint those. And then the black one shows up really nice. So this one is a little bit more detailed. So you are welcome to create your art however you want. We're going to get set up for painting now that you know how to do it. So you need to get your water cup, your paintbrush, your washcloth, and your paints. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is start with my yellow because yellow is our lightest color. I like to start with that one so we don't mess up the water. So put a little water on that yellow. If your yellow is dirty from the previous class, you can clean it off nicely. And then just decide where you want it. So when I say that yellow is a primary color, that means you can't mix any colors to get yellow. You have to always start with yellow. And yellow is my favorite color. You can mix yellow with red to make orange. You can mix yellow with blue to make green. But you always have to start with that beautiful sunny yellow. Okay, Ooh, that looks good. And then I'm going to let that dry. Let's see, maybe I want another yellow one. Where do I want it? Have it over here. Just going to let that dry. Maybe I want another one here. So you decide where to put it. Maybe one more. Notice the yellow has turned my water to look like lemonade. Don't drink it. <laughs> okay. Now, after I have my yellow on, Clean your brush, dab, 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 and you're going to wipe it on your washcloth. And then I'm going to pick my next color. So you notice on your drawing guide, I asked you for step three to paint the color yellow first, simply because it changes the watercolor. And um, then the next thing we're going to do, step four, is paint red, then blue. So your painting has primary colors. So I'm going to get pick up my red next.
And if your red looks more pink, it's because you've used a lot of water. The more water we add, the lighter the color. So if yours looks more pink, you could always put one coat of red, let it dry, then do a second coat of red if it's not bright enough for you. And Okay, then I'm gonna to switch to blue. Let's clean your brush, dab, 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 wipe. Get your brush clean and decide where you wanna put the blue. So our primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. They cannot be mixed. Now all you need is three colors to make every color on the color wheel. So if we have time in class, we will do that activity at the end of this lesson. Remember to leave a few of the rectangles white. And sometimes it helps if you stand back. So you can kind of decide. And I'm thinking I'm going to switch back to yellow. I want this to be yellow right here. And hmm, I need this one also to be yellow. And this one looks a little pink, so I'm gonna add a little bit more red to it, just a second coat. So you can add a second coat to the red if you feel like it to make it look a little bit darker. You could do the same thing with the blue, it's up to you. Okay, I hope you had fun in fine arts today learning about Piet Mondrian. Until next time, everybody. Bye, everybody.